Hi, uh, welcome back to Mainframe's uh, ETL tutorial. So now let us look at the interesting and important topic that is challenges in understanding the copybook. So when you are new and when you are looking at this copybook, you may get confused or uh, it, it may little confuse you by looking at the structure. So since this is something new area, right? So how do we overcome these things and how do we understand uh, clearly uh, when looking at the copy book. So the important thing that you'll be seeing here is what is uh, data types that is declared in a group type and elementary type and uh, level numbers redefines what is computational occurs so so and so. So these are the different things that will come up when you are looking at the copy book. So let me explain you clearly. So how the copy book exactly looks and what are the different things that I have just mentioned, right? So let's look at that particular things. Okay, I'm entering into the copy book area here. So just to differentiate the group and elementary the first thing. So this is called as a group variable. And within this, these are the associated uh, respective fields. We call it as an elementary on the mainframe and we can also call it as a field. So order ID, customer ID and uh, these are the two different fields that are associated to this group. And we have another group variable that is called as order date and this has associated fields that are elementary types. Uh, these are called as order year, order month and order dates and you have this level numbers which are in an increasing order so this should be always in an increasing order 0 1 0 5 and i can make this as 0 2 as well okay okay and so this is how uh, this is the group and elementary and the level number that you will be seeing inside the copy book then another important thing that comes up is comp right so comp variables so in my previous tutorial or earlier tutorial that I have mentioned you, so different data types that you'll be seeing is X, 9, A, S9 and V. So these are the different kinds of data types that you'll be seeing, right? So apart from that, so we have some data data uh, types that is known as a computational. So computational usage. So these are used for the compressing the data type. So when on the mainframe, the memory is very important. So to reduce the memory size, especially when you are using the variables for counting orders, where we doesn't require any decimal finds. So for that, uh, we will be using this particular computational data types. No need to get confused here. So whatever the length that is it is showing, so it will be the same. Okay, if it is S9 and you find 5, either it's in a positive or a negative value. So, but it doesn't accept any decimal points. So, this is the point I can say for the computational values or the variable that you will be seeing in the copy book. Okay, so this is about the comp. And uh, the next important thing that you also will see is something called as if you see a name with as redefines okay inside the copy book so what does it mean right so it's very simple so what is it here is so we have the employee record so let me take this employee record has the total length is something around 100 bytes okay it is a hundred bytes. So if you merge all these fields, right, 10, 11, 20, 30, and all those things, so it all, uh, it entirely, uh, it's a hundred byte record. Okay. And we also have another record type that is job record. So that is also of hundred bytes. Okay. Or it can be less than hundred, but not greater than hundred. On mainframe, what we do is if we have this situation, so instead of declaring two different records with a different memory allocation we just reuse <coughs> we just reuse the existing memory space and we just redefine it <coughs> so if you look at here so what the code is saying 01 job record redefines employee record so what is the 100 bytes is there so we will be reusing that existing memory space so for specific records you can see the employee record for a specific record you can see the job record information that depends upon the condition that we wanted to use it so but whereas coming to your point so you need to have two different records coded right 
so that is 100 bytes for employee records and 100 100 for uh, job record when you are especially designing your tables and everything or that fields that you are defining so you should have this respect fields defined to store the data into the respective table during transformation so this is about the redefines and another thing that you will be seeing in the copy books is occurs occurs right so occurs is another thing that you will be seeing in the main uh, in the copy books that is uh, it's a uh, where do we see this for what kind of files or what kind of records that occurs will come up so when there is a variable length file when the upstream system is sending a variable length file or the variable records so along with uh, along with the file you'll be getting this copy book right so if you see the occurs so that means that means this particular file is a variable file or the particular record is a variable record so that should the record should be varying okay it's not a fixed byte the first record is 100 bytes second record can be 150 bytes and this third record can be you know 200 bytes and fourth record can be another 400 records so occurs if you are seeing it's a variable length file okay <coughs> and how do you understand here so this is of the top is the employee record and the next is a job history right so uh, for example uh, a job history so if you have a record that let's take a complete record length is a thousand okay the first hundred bytes are employee record and the next uh, 50 bytes stores the job history and then the next job is uh, shows the job history so here what is happening here it's repeating 10 times that means if your job history total length is 50 bytes 50 into 10 that means 500 bytes of memory that it can store in the single record the first hundred is of the employee record and the next 500 bytes is of the job history of that particular employee right so if he has worked in a different departments five to six different departments the entire six department information will be recorded in the single record instead of having multiple records so this is what the occurs uses so based on this you can analyze and you can design your database structure or the table structure okay so these are the specific important uh, things that you need to look at when you are trying to understand or read the copy book uh, that you have received along with the mainframe upstream file thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you do like this video kindly please do subscribe or if you have any suggestions comments please type your comments in the below comment section box thank you so much